Hello, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Adam here again. And we're picking up where we left off and heading back to Groundbreaker again. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. Please avoid damage. Who do we actually need for this? I don't know. I don't think we need anybody for this mission, right? They really could make that pig look less horrifying, I think. I know that's the point of that advertisement, but my goodness, what kind of a future would anybody want to eat something that came from something like that? Opportunity to repair everything. I don't know if any of it needed it, but the bench was there. We might as well. Well, well, Doctor Fenhill. It's not often I see you on this side of sick bay. I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. It'd be nice to have you in here patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, she has no but you know I'm not face. ready to That's settle weird. down. It's not you, it's me. Have it your way then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Was that it? I guess that was it. I mean, I feel like the two of these guys must have more business together, right? Do you have Keep ankles? hanging around and I'll begin to think you're here for me. What can I do for you? I guess nothing. You have yourself a day then. Well, at least the game loads quickly. So it's not a big deal going to these places. Alright, so let's just look here. Mr. Pickett, Stellar Bay. So I guess we're going back to Monarch. We had quite a few things on Monarch still. Monarch seems to be kind of a big deal. I don't know what's up with the texture of loading weirdly. Didn't used to do that either, I swear, this game. It's, it's like, this is an Obsidian game. Whatever. Walk back. Ah, there's the gangway thing. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating it. You. Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it, embrace it, work with it. You're in control here, Parvati, not the gun. Miss Nyoka's so capable, you hardly notice how sad she looks. Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad would say. Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without them giving you the okay first, you know? Of course, that don't stop Felix. Whatever. Let's get a move on here. I have no idea if I went to the right landing area. I probably should have paid attention to that. Stellar Bay, Captain. I guess no we'll fast travel. Match from my I guess we can fast travel easy enough if we need to. Which it looks like we need to. Let's go there. And we'll keep the same party for now.
I like the faux window thing. That's actually pretty funny. Explains all the fake doors and windows around here. So you're uh, you're really running around with us now, huh? Sure am. I'm a part of the crew now. Got my own bunk and everything. You know, Felix, now that you're a real pirate, I should induct you into the pirate's code of silence. Ooh, the code of silence. What's that? It means you agree not to talk for a very long time. I don't know how he didn't see that coming. on us. This isn't good. Alright, there's like a billion of them. something. Alright, Sebastian is somewhere over there. Maybe we will fast travel for once here. Let's see. up vending machines and buy more ammo for my pistols and stuff too because it's not good. Probably went through most of my ammo for that minigun too. Hey Ellie, do you want to know what I think? I think they ought to make a serial about our crew. Only we have all these secret messages in every episode, see? What happened to the Code of Silence, Felix? Hey, why do you always do that thing with your eyes whenever I talk to you? You on the alert, maybe? Looking out for hidden enemies? Let's just say you remind me of someone. I bet they were real pretty. You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? He'll probably be wanting it back. You see any sign of him? That's pretty sad. He sure seemed like he knew what he was doing. So this journal is all he left behind? Seems like I ought to read it. Looks mighty long, though. I bet she'll like that. She's real enthusiastic about all sorts of monsters. In any case, I appreciate you tracking down Mr. Pickett for me. Here's some bits for your trouble. Check this out too, why not? Getting all sorts of stuff cleared out today. problematic to get to, doesn't it? Oh, let's assume there's a route up this way somewhere, I guess. Oh boy.
fighting this thing hand to hand is probably not the best idea. <laughs> Not doing a ton of damage. Spot freaking lot of get more ammo for this thing too. The ammo situation is a little rough for everything except for the sniper rifle. We have 10 million rounds for the assault rifle, but... Concerned about my crew. Everybody always just wants a drink. It's not good. It's more life than drinking. Alright, let's go see what's going on this way. Slayer. Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. We were hired to do so. Why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the broker and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns, including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. The corporate model is the oldest and most efficient, not to mention stable structure history has ever shown us. Plus, corporations got certain rights, not entailed to individuals. I lead the C3s. Addy covers our payroll and expenditures, Lance handles the human capital, and Donald is our charming public face. Our system works. We've racked up more confirmed kills than any other crew you can hire. Can't imagine the competition. The best is the best, lady. That's all there is to it. Wow, that was a bit presumptuous, don't you think? We were still debating as to whether we're contractually obligated to take out those marauders. And here, you've undercut us. We have an image to uphold. Our services are deservedly expensive. Now, I shall have to pay you so that future clients continue to recognize the value of our work. We'll just say you were a subcontractor. Yes, that'll do. We exercised our finest judgment in hiring you, you know? Is this stealing? It sure isn't. Let's 
having to go talk to Graham now, I guess. Alright, so that stuff is done for now. French is due. Ah, oh, we should have done that when we were on Groundbreaker. That's unfortunate. I guess we'll be heading back to Groundbreaker later. Oh, we'll wrap up what we can here. Once you're up, you just gotta go down again. I wonder why they call it Devil's Peak. It ain't really a peak. It's, you know, two peaks. Oh god, no, this is bad. This is bad. They're on us. It's fine. It's fine. Just run. Nobody listens. Oh, this is a dead end. Holy crap, there's more of them. I think stamina is not a thing. Here they come! Oh god, I fell through a tree. It's fine, it's fine. We just have about a thousand of these guys chasing us. Oh, and I did it again. Oh, but we didn't get hurt. That's good. Alright, are we being chased still? No, we're good. Well, this doesn't seem suspicious. I didn't bring her with me, did I? I just realized that. She's not in our party, so this isn't going to count. Where did I leave my ship? Is there... I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave series. It's, it's, it's fine, don't worry about it. Feel oh god, I did it again. What game is that you press X? I know there's a game you press X to select your party. It's like Mass Effect or Dragon Age or something, so I'm just it's like automatic. Automatic thing of doing that, and it is not the right thing to do. Felix, go away. Alright, we're going far away again. Hopefully we get to do this in a little more civilized of a fashion this time, not get chased by 300,000 manticores and stuff. Maybe not. You weren't here before. Take you.
Does it give me give her the medallion? Okay. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. I should have. I, I really should have. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I, I stopped trying because it hurt like hell to do so. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but we've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Now come on, let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. Can I? Okay, you can do it. That's very annoying. No, I'm trying to. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll go here. I don't. I don't really care. We do this? Probably. Yeah, I think that's how we talked to the guy in the first place. How did we get upstairs again here? Hmm. is confusing. Stairs! That seems like a good thing. It's the strangest thing. I still can't receive any incoming off-world communications. Why, pray tell, are you standing here then? Wait, I know. This is the part where you fleece me for more money. Don't bother explaining how my business will suffer if you don't shut the broadcast down. I already know. This merits an apology, Captain. It was my duty to warn you of threats, both physical and otherwise. But I failed to prepare you for this man's insufferable nature. Yes, but you put up with me because I'm a veritable genius. And because I pay you well for it. Here, take this if it will incentivize you to work faster. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you... 
may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. Sure, you know where to find me if you need me. <laughs>